So my last final video, um, after editing it, I realized the music was too loud, I thought, oh, so I couldn't re-edit that, so I decided to just re-film it. So I'm going to do some music in my headphones, and I'm only going to talk during the parts I think is important, so it's going to be easy to edit. Um, I'm going to try this off camera, but yeah, I'm just going to go straight into Prime Water, which... So, green, just on the ground high points. Let's do that for Musky. I'm going to use the foundation of green water, I'm going to talk after doing that, so I'm going to do it in a section. So, uh, when I did this last time, I used both of these, the foundation stick and the long nail that foundation, but today I'm just going to use this one, I've got an idea for this for a different video, so, yeah, this is the shade New Age. as well as the first time I'm not gonna lie. It's not sitting on the skin properly. It's so almost not going into the skin, I've realised. And when you re-blend over something, it leaves like the little blend print. So maybe it only worked when you layered on top of the other stick foundation. Let's take my page. Two. I've got the sculpting blend and I've got the contour and shape. One's from the bronze collection and one is from the normal collection. I'm going to try the bronze one because it's the normal one last time. And it's a nice kind of cool tone, I think. I think it's neutral. But a true brown. Going in with the concealer, the my back color concealer instead of the peach uh before we started concealer because it's not so much I just want to make it
We're going with some mineral powder to set it. And rise and my face hair. Look at this. Already I can tell this is coloured, it's got to because it's changing the colour of my under eyes as I speak. So that's fun. If it's not really an actual white hair, I don't guys. From what I looked from last, um, from last ago, I noticed there's some array in this. Um, I can tell you that the powders, like the beta is where I'm going, they're like, you can just see the colour change in the colour, it's like really setting in my, like, it's setting in my. Eyeshadows are yes, highlighters are yes. The green contour is not that bad. New bit is the slow contouring actually. So is the this foundation is okay. But I feel like this one's actually going to half price. Um, oh I'm gonna put that stuff now. And then we go into the white color matte powder. This is kind of great to me. It's just nice and tricks me. That's great. I'm just gonna sweat around and just. I still feel like the stickiness of my face, it, this didn't quite start anything. You can tap it in the next area. Otherwise, I feel like it's, it's not going to be this more like a natural finish. This is double coverage. I can still see complication over my eyebrows very well. I honestly, from the pattern, it's a bit bad, and I can't see anything. But my pores are enhanced. So I'm not really good. It's like it missed me entirely like, by my next area completely. I don't know if this is because I didn't use the stick one, which is what I was going to go for last night. It's going to really hydrate the face. And see if I can bring back some of the moisture. I'm just going to pat them over here. Honestly, I wanted to say that I just pulled my and um, for £5, I would say it's worth it. I say get to make a revision bar space because it's all worth it. And now going with this bronze, bronze queen and matte bronzer. I'm going to bronzer. I'm using bronze as a contour, so it's not a bronze, beachy goddess type look. It's a pretty cheap bronzer, but let's look at the camera. The bronze is limited. Yeah. And after that, I'm just going to add some face powder. I'm going to blend the line of it. Just like the lips will all seem as like it's just a shadow and not all she would have. She would have. Even though she would come out. I'm just going to do jewel line. Make it like a jewel surgery. Even jewel lines, which you guys feel. So, like, this one is actually lower than this one here. So, this one's a bit good, this one's a darling. So, I have to kind I've used this pack before, it's insane. Yeah. But I have a look on my Instagram using that one to go check out. It's like my three parts series where I show you the things between like normal natural makeup, so Instagram and like Instagram to drag. It was like no makeup, makeup, every day makeup, intro makeup, intro makeup, drag makeup, just three parts series. It's the final two inches, I think. It's the. I'm probably not gonna use these. These are 60 feet each. The compartment was £3, so the palette in total was £5.40, but these ones were all £4. You get no need for So this is after party. I used the white here and these two blues for my initial. Um, I think these patterns might be the same. So, uh, swatch the size. I mean, you can see the underneath. This one's slightly more blue on the tone, and this one's slightly more blue on the top. You can even see the swatch. The work on the classified is a lot more different to me as well. I'm not going to say this because this is also shimmers. There is no like matte. Even the blue, just, it is actually shimmering because it's not very decent. So, I'm not using that today. I don't think that blue. Four pound, you can't go wrong. Um, this is what I used last time, so I might use this one again. So, it's more like, very, like a warm, orangey kind of blending palette. It looks like a highly blending palette, I would say. It's got like two shimmer oils and I got the mats, it's very good for like, easy looks. I've got the Glister Eyeshadow Palette, which is also four pound. These are also very much of them. These are exactly the same shade. So the bottom one, actually the bottom is a orange. The bottom one is from the Glister Palette, I'm just like bigger on this album because this one is the bottom shade. This one's actually more paper dip than the other one. But, oh wait, you have one transition shade. But four pound is not bad for like, trying to get in. This is one of the reasons I just bought because I felt like it's like, it's literally all nudes, all matte nudes, apart from this white one right here. So I could just go in between these two parts and go in neutral for like, like the last time. Also, these two shakes here are the same as those two shakes that are in the middle. If I just click it up. I'm gonna go up there literally like near at the same. This one hasn't this one hasn't been swatched, so this one has. So these two and those two. 
we're probably gonna chat in between those two. I might just try and move to the look like I my, like put my Instagram ready with my picture So I'm gonna like kind of just lift it up, point to it while I have it. So I'm just gonna like take out like me talking from like when I put my headphones in. I just want to concentrate. Between like these two shades, if you guys weren't clear before, these two palettes, I wanted like the warmth and the neutral because like I feel like this one's very neutral but it has some like cool and warm tones. But this one's very like a warm tone palette and I kind of like the fact that I like have a neutral undertone in my skin I can go for both. So that's why I decided to. <coughs> um, So when I was like, um, I'm not going to try to cut out too much, um, if I'm just in my headphones, I'm going to fast forward it, like, I'm going to, like, it needs to be much longer, I'm going to 40 minutes a minute. So every time I'm speaking is when it's going to be out. Um, I had to wet the shimmer shadow a lot more this time than the last time, I know this was, like, I used to use the settings, but I didn't use the I don't the same. Um, I hope, um, these type of swatches are a lot different than actually getting a brush, because it's not too bad. Do you see the difference? So when it's time to swatch, it's so pigmented, it might actually get so honestly that's definitely my mind buying makeup is that people can buy us and it could only like it might only be a good swatch because someone swiped their fingers across it. Not that they've taken a brush and then did that. So yeah. So I'm going to take my control after because it's gonna look like a bronze, so I can go a little bit more hand, a little bit more. So I've got like slightly taking over, I didn't really want that to take over, I wanted to get to take over. I'm still facing on the brows and the brows also went the worst, they went the best round over time, but like and I can do it just such a so I can get it by several brows and afterwards, but I feel like I might do brows, I'm gonna highlight my brow bone. I have two of my this one I've had for a while. They have been loved. It's gone at the top, as in love, so it's dessert. But I use even like, you can do all this. If you want a really extreme, like just all over, like going that, you can use this like your highest highlight, your highlight, your blush, and your contour. So like, if you've got like ultra high fashion contour look, you make everything just glowy. Ooh, yeah, I'm kind on of come through. So I don't know how to back here because it just makes the entire cheek very pop anymore. I did that with glimmer. So I go into glimmer first, give you like all over look. And then like, oh, home in like, with dessert and even objects like the blush. So after this, I'll go to Eden, just here, which is like underneath the highest point. But actually, behind me, she goes right here. So those are which I'll go with desert, and just go tap. I just slightly like look so much more cuter. I'm going to take a teeny tiny brush, this is the Morpheus top. It's just like, a, and like I did jerk some glitter on top of it, which I might just like silver reflects on top. <coughs> I'm going to go with desert right here in the corner, and maybe glitter on top. Ah, I'm awake now! I literally woke up this morning, and it's like 12 o'clock. And I'm like, do you know this? I'm not happy with the video. <sighs> the music's way too loud, and it's really quiet, so I'm just going to refilm. I'm taking glimmer on my cuter bed. Sorry, I don't know what I'm talking about. Yes. Giving that grey dark girl, running smell, kind of little moustache. 
I'm going to take this right here, using glimmer as like a bigger brush. And I'm going either with a smaller brush, right on the tip, and then right down the bridge. So it's like, and I'm also going to take dessert, and I'm just going to go right here and here, just so it literally raises my lips. I'm also going to recontrol my foot, and I just scratched the highlighter. I'm actually going to switch. Firefly, Eden, Glimmer, Desert. I did try to do that all once, so. I don't know how much like, this one just like, shines. That would be beautiful, so I can see that. I could probably put that one actually like, like this one. I'm tempted to do like a really thin brow, and not like a dark brow. I'm just going to go with this. And... It's kind of a little thicker than I wanted, but I can make them work. I need to grab a little flat top brush. As it's so creamy, I can blend and move it out still. So we grab this brush I use for face controls, it should have some brown. I'm just gonna blend and buff and see if I can make it reach again. Didn't want to dark either, but the other one the other one I had was like a graphite kind of color. So that would be nice. I'm tempted to do a little Valentino brow hairs with this. But from my head, from my like please brow. Like, sometimes I think. But like, we try to say something, but I like, like, it's like, my face is enough, like, my daily, so I don't really have much, I will probably not do it so. Um, run down, going quickly, uh, foundation, it looks nice, I don't know if camera, so I'm not too fast. The texture's kind of down on the poor area, so that's one thing. Um, if you guys used it, like, a poor thinning primer, it might be better, like, it wasn't around this, like, how much it was. Um, it's just super, like, this one was five, this was two fifty, and this was three. This one was two, and this one was two. It was three, this was three, this was two. This is, like, a limited edition version of the student's kit. 
Um, this is what you count on. The glass is on 50. This is 3. This is the start of 50. The problem is the whole problem. 50 problem. Turn 1. The lip gloss was 150, which you count. The lip was 50 because it was discounted. All the shiny palettes were 4 pound of the journal, which is quite good already. The primary water was 2 pound. The level this was 4 by level 2 pound. This concealer was originally 2 pound, which is 1 pound, but then guided it to the end. So I was like, shit. This one was 150, which I don't really. It's not really like giving me a color effect. It hasn't really colored my bag as much as like the makeup original does. It's not. No, it's not best. But yeah. Um, overall, primer. It's touch and go. Like, experiment with stuff, but like, don't waste your time here. Like, you can put, as you get shadow palettes, the highlighting palette as well as a like, right over the way. Yeah, all in all, my probably is like a B, a B grade. Summer A, but like, I'd say stay away from like the powder, like the face powders, stay away from like, baking, stay away from like. Blush and contour, I would say, yeah, because like, it's a nice, like, colour. Uh, I know that these ones won't be around for long, much longer, so I say I get them. They smell like coconut. Even though the like, different shimmer shades need a little bit more working, they're also very pretty, so I would say, yeah, all the nice stuff, I think I should probably be good. Exactly. Uh, yeah, uh, like and comment on the video. Comment what you want to do next. I have the brow routine, I have films, a proper one. I have my actual full face face facial routine. I have testing in UA makeup, testing Elf makeup, pre filmed, but these I don't know. But I mean, yeah, um, subscribe to my channel. I have my Instagram, Alex James underscore NUA underscore Red Queen. I know it's like being a little bit of a good answer. I joke about it. Don't get used to it. That's what I'm saying. Uh, but yeah, um, thank you for watching, loves, and I love you, and I hope you're having a great night of the day. Where do I remember watching?